Good morning, world. Good morning. All right, today we are doing Ren Cujo Beatdown. Cujo Beatdown. Got to get that beat down. All right, you guys, stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. know a little bit about hold this. on i'm taking over here my gosh do you uh, know the backstory anyway i got this message from jessica m and she said hurry ren's new video cujo beatdown i said thank you for the heads up i need to call brian and see if he has time to film appreciate you she said you are so welcome it is maybe his best yet very powerful I want to give props to Jessica M. Yes, I know part of the backstory, but carry on. Oh, may I speak now? I've given you permission. Okay. Go ahead. You're on the clock. So we did a song, uh, a, re- a reaction to Ren's Sick Boy back in the day. So I'm sure most of you watching this know the story. So Ren bought some beats from this uh, Cujo warehouse where you can get it. And, and Cujo apparently... Got some beats from some Bulgarian choir that I guess uh, he didn't have permission to. So, anyways, that's kind of the the, the what we call it the cliff note version. So they had right. to take down all of Ren's uh, all the the song Sick Boy wherever Ren had it posted. So it's a shame because Ren, in good faith, paid for the beats, and now he's embroiled in this thing. So I hear he's going to be re, be re releasing Sick Boy. So we'll keep our eye out for that. Absolutely. All right, Let's but do I guess, this, man. I guess this was him venting now for the Cujo beatdown, so apparently this is going to be a beatdown. You ready? I'm ready. Person who is rightly doing right, who is right there on the righteous path, no wrong in words are right. But the forces out that test me, Ren, I'm trying to find the path of forgive all those who test my will. There's trouble in my heart. What the fuck, you little pussy? This ain't high, Ren. No- okay, I don't. Don't get mad at me. Go watch Ren. <laughs> Give him some love. This is a reaction right? channel. We're going to stop it, but he's he's got his high Ren voices back. He's talking to himself again, Cedric. And that's a that intro. That was sick, boy, wasn't it? That I think so, God, man, it's been a while. It's been a while. You guys can tell us. It's been a while. But I love it. He's basically saying, I'm getting tired of being the nice guy because being the nice guy gets you stepped on and I'm, I'm tired of it and I'm coming, out, I'm coming out swinging and it's time for someone to get beat down. Mm, okay, here we go. I, I restarted it for you people, don't worry. <laughs> Person who is rightly doing right, who is right there on the righteous path, no wrong in words are right. But the forces out that test me, Ren, I'm trying to find the path of forgive all those who test my will. There's trouble in my heart. What the fuck, you little pussy? This ain't high rent number two. This ain't pendulum for uh. songs of hope that can't talk from you. And the last time we did this, the hope did prevail. Now the hope is the road that will choke a bitch pale. No, no, just wait, just wait, just wait a sec. Cause there's nothing to be gained when you sever the neck. I know the art is a part of your heart, so you're upset. But this hate breeds hate, please. Jeez, wait, jeez, Ren. I'm getting pretty sick of the sick boy. Trying to be the it boy. Trying to be the I'm so morally equipped boy. Face it, you're mad as fuck, Ren. Now let me cut this worm with my razor blade pen. Mm. <sighs> fuck wow. it. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. He just told someone, whatever's going down, he's like, severing the neck, that's too quick. <laughs> I'm going to make you suffer. It's too easy just to, to, to sever the neck and watch you just... Like this. There's going to be some pain coming. All right. Let's see where this goes. Mm, 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 Got somebody in the back. (laughs) (laughs) I take it that's supposed to be Cujo, maybe. Hi, Cujo. Please don't try to struggle. Hear me out. See, I'm on your side, really. Well, I was till I found you could get a little greedy. Push your luck a little far. There's a moral. Jimmy of the cookie and the jar. See the needy and the greedy, they're just trying to fill a hole. So they take and then they take us, still the empty in their soul. They feel so hard done. 
run by Poor little you Wanna take from me, bitch? Then I'll take from you too <laughs> Oh, I like how they have almost, I'm sure it's not the Bulgarian this time, but they have that orchestra in the background. That's cool. Yes, they have the Reader's, reader's Theater hands in place, but they're just uh, singing about his ultimate demise. That's cool. Okay. You too. <laughs> Shut up, slut. You said the last. You said you like it rough. Thought you said she likes it rough. You're a bitch, man. What the fuck? I'm confused by this dynamic. Like it's Bonnie and it's Clyde, but the killing you're committing is career suicide. Whoa, guys, you probably think that this is extreme. I won't lie. Maybe just a little bit mean, you know. I feel a little bad about it, really. Nah, I'm only messing, lad. I love to spank the greedy thing. <laughs> I hope you wake up sweating from your nightmare scene. I'm the sick boy that oh. you enslave free me. When you fuck with my work, you might as well bleed me. I'll put my whole soul into my words legally. Stop, stop, stop. One, beef oh. one. Goodness. Oh. There's a lot going on there. Goodness. There's a lot going on there. But in the beginning, before that last pause, he, he was telling, and I'm assuming this is Cujo's doppelganger. You guys help us out. I'm assuming that is. He was basically telling like, hey, man, I was going to break you off a little something, something. Yeah. But there's a difference between the needy and the greedy. Yeah. I understand you're a little needy. We all are. But then you went and got greedy. Now you got to see this ugly side of Ren. And I think early on, he was talking to people about being a sick boy. And I don't think he does that. Ren's not the type of person that does that to say, oh, look at me, poor me, have pity on me. He was just saying, that's part of my story. And I think other people were coming at him and saying, oh, he's playing that sick boy thing. It's like, no, it's just, it's just who he is. He's sick. Yeah, and, and, he's, s- and he's said in the past, though, that the reason that this song, that he liked the song so much, because people, the feedback he got is he was helping people with this song, and they took exactly. it down. So he feels, not just for himself, but he feels like, hey, you take, took something down that actually was helping other people. Right. In a I don't, true rap fashion. Oh, go ahead. I cut you off. My I bad. don't know who that the other person's supposed to be. Do you guys I think you tell that's us? his girlfriend. Oh, this is supposed to be Cujo's girlfriend? C- because he said something about the bon- they got this Bonnie and Clyde thing going on. Uh. So I don't know if uh, she was popping off, too, and slipped into his DMs and, and said something crazy about him. He said, your boyfriend's going down, and since you're a ride or die with him, I guess you got to die with him. Man. Man, oh, man. I put my whole soul into my words legally. Now a little thief one, beef one, steal from me. That's how little thief lose teeth, you meal to me. I'm the subject matter, you are part of the scenery. This is how the sick boy works, you feeling me? Hun, I'm sick with the pen. <laughs> I went easy on the daughter, he's a friend at Zen. But if I ever hear your mouth speak the name of Ren, out in public, then it's public, you don't want that again. And no warning for your bitch, of a girlfriend uh-huh. too. Miss is nice behind the scenes, poor Cujo, boo hoo. If I ever read another fucking comment from you but this is only part one it's even worse than part two. Oh, 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 oh you're right cedric <laughs> so i guess she was mouthing off too wow if you're right or die you better mean it Woo. i like how you said uh she's expressing, she's expressing this for, for creative for purposes creative purposes any issues i will be dealt with on a personal basis i do not condone abuse or bullying that's for the snowflakes yeah. out there but he had to give a little shout out like i don't i wouldn't really do this this is all for creative purposes <laughs> i i liked how you said that i know we did a reaction to that brian about dada he had a little fun back and forth with him mm. but he's telling cujo like what i did with dada that was level one if i hear <laughs> something come out of your mouth again we're gonna dial it all the way up to 11 dude that's uh, gonna be ugly that scenery too with the with the you know choir voices in the background, and then all of a sudden they came out and they were, and I like how people told us, you guys told us that the pig face represents greed, and you were absolutely right because then all of a sudden um, Cujo's face would turn to the pig face and then back again, and then those, uh, it was he always it's like a movie every time he comes out with something absolutely because it's, it's a such a it's a such a cohesive story, and it's not like normal songs where you just get like stuff repeated. It's just it's just a story, and like people call him, they call him a bard, which is like the Shakespearean. He's just telling a, a story in a in a theatrical way, and it's uh, it's, God, he never lets us down. He never lets. Did us you down. catch that part, Brian? I know you said earlier when we started reacting that that was the choir that supposedly the beats were stole from. 
But well, did you catch that when he was giving uh, Cujo his punishment? All of a sudden, the entire choir was laying there dead. Yeah, yeah, bloody. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I wonder what that was all about. It's um, yeah, I I don't know. It's it's like this Cujo guy sold these beats that he said were his, but then I guess he sampled the Bulgarian choir and didn't have permission. So now Ren is suffering because of something Cujo did. And then they're giving Ren a hard time. I don't know the whole story. I'm sure you guys are going to let us know the story in the comments. We appreciate that because that's how we learn this stuff. Um, Also in in rap fashion, I just want to touch on this real quick. I was talking about the whole Bonnie and Clyde thing. That was an Ice Cube song. But mm -hmm. also as an ode to Ice Cube, uh, this has a very diss track vibe like Ice Cube's No Vaseline when he and N.W.A. split and he was trying to mind his own business and trying to be nice and be gentle and then they started popping off. He's like, okay, if you're going to play that route, I'll play that route. He put out No Vaseline, which to this day is probably <laughs> the number one diss track out there. <laughs> yeah, that's that uh, that's a that's a painful uh, visual right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I know you're going to end up, Brian, but I also want to just give out a shout out again to uh, I'm going to say Jessica M. Uh, Jessica M, you have a you have friends and Brian and I, I'm not going to go into detail about. Not the texting, but the social media conversation we had back and forth. I don't know if you have even read that yet, Brian. Um, it's not my place to tell that story, but thank you for reaching out to us and letting us know that. I told her that she says, thank you, Brian and I for putting some joy in her life and giving her some laughs and, and things like that. And I said, Brian and I aren't intentionally funny. We're just naturally buffoons and idiotic. It just comes off that way. But uh, <laughs> if that brings you some joy and some pleasure in your life, uh, Jessica, you, you have friends in us and we appreciate you. And I'd appreciate if Cedric would speak for himself. I speak for <laughs> myself. <laughs> the buffoon doesn't. Wow. <laughs> wow. You got to right. get going. You got you got a movie to catch. All right. Hey, can I say something real quick? It is, what time is it here? It You're is saying a lot um, of real quick stuff. No, real, it's 12 o'clock here in Southern California on, uh, and it is 104 degrees. It's 104 degrees. It is crazy. It's, in the, low, it's in the low 80s here. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think a few of you outside of Jessica uh, sent us this saying, hey, you guys need to check this out. Uh, I'm glad we did. We are. I'm, I don't know if we can call us renegades, but we are huge Ren fans. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, you guys have an incredible, well, I was going to say have an incredible weekend, but we'll probably put this out on Monday. Make sure you like, Tuesday. subscribe, ring that bell, and make sure you share our channel with everyone you know from California to Tennessee and all around the world. And I can't say any better than Brian did. If you're upset about the, the stopping, get over it. <laughs> Go to Ren's channel, support him, watch it in its entirety without our dialogue and our buffoonery, and get over it. Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later.